Hello boys and girls, it's Fogg, and uh, I just got done watching a video by Stephen A.U. on his self-repairing fast smooth stone generator. Uh, Stephen's the guy that does the new Minecraft over-engineering series, which I've been very impressed with. Uh, and uh, he's got a great design for a smooth stone generator, but I thought I could make uh, a few improvements on it, and I wanted to show you what I'd come up with. So uh, I'll have, leave a link to his video down below. So go ahead and click that and uh, understand that he came up with it first. So, you know, all props uh, to him. But we're going to start by putting our central piston in first. And then dig these guys out around here and put a repeater pointing into those from each side. Okay. Okay. So now each of these blocks right here is going to form the bottom of where our uh, lava column is right there. Okay. Then dig a hole out on either on the other side of those. Obviously, you don't have to replace those blocks. I just did that for demonstration purposes. And we're going to put a redstone dot under each of those. Got it. And then above those, we'll put a block just like that and that's where we're gonna put the pistons that face in like this all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wire up uh, wire up those in a circular clock just like he had it Except we're going to simplify things. We're going to make one minor change. And I'll show that to you in one second. Whoops. And there and there. And now instead of connecting these straight there, we're going to go over here and skip out one like that. Whoops, sorry. Right like that and then like that. And then we're going to wire our redstone up like this. Now, the reason we've done this is because this is where I'm going to put uh, put my pulse injector. And I'm going to do it using this design here. Oops, I need a sticky piston, not a regular piston for this. And this is how we're going to inject our pulse into the system. So now if I throw this switch, it's going to create a very short pulse which goes through this series of Peters right around there. And this clock out here all has exactly the same timings as the clock in Steven's video. Uh, but it's a much simpler injector system. And the way we're going to get the pulse into here is much simpler. So throw the switch. And there we have the same pulse timings, exactly the same sequences of stuff. Um, actually, I want to make one minor change here. I want to move this here, and I'll sh that'll become more apparent uh, why I'm doing that in just a second. So we're going to move the pulse injector right here. And I need my sticky piston back. And I need my block. Here, let's use an iron block just to make it look consistent. And put that redstone back. And we have basically the exact same circuit. I've just moved where that block goes. Okay. All right. And now let's build the rest of it. So first thing we need to do is we need to build uh, our water platform. So this is basically exactly the same thing that Steven did in his video. And put a little edge on here to contain the water. There and there and there and there. Keep everything from spilling out onto the circuitry. Just like that. And then we need a place for our... Well, actually, let's put the water in first. Block of water there, block of water there, block of water there. And I neglected to cover that because I'm an idiot. Okay, 
<laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, there, that's an example of what not to do. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, whoops. Cover those first. And then you can place your water. There we go. Otherwise, it washes out your repeaters. Okay, so there we go. That's exactly the same thing that he had. Now what we're going to do is build our platform for uh, our lava. This is basically exactly what Steven had going here. And over here. Now we have places to put the lava. So let's place that. Some there. Some there. Some there. Some there. There we go. Four smooth stone generators. Then the last piece of the puzzle, of course, is to put either obsidian or a furnace or something that pistons won't push behind each of these pistons to prevent them from getting pushed out of the way once the center col column fills up. That way, once you've generated as much smooth stone as you can here in the center, um, if this guy fires, he's not going to push that guy out of the way. He's just going to stop. So let's give it a test. There you go. It works. And once it gets to the top, it should stop. And we'll go ahead and delete these, and it's self-repairing. This is exactly the same thing. The only difference is the circuitry is much simpler. Now, there is one little change that we can make to here that'll make this a little more compact. And I wanted to show you that, and that's why I moved this here. Uh, if we get rid of this rep these repeaters here, and we do this, put it, set this on, t on two ticks, set this one on three ticks. Two, three, two, three, whoops, two, three, just like that. This, this repeater has to be next to this block, otherwise the circuit won't complete. So there you go. Now, what that does is instead of being four ticks between here and here, it's, it's now five ticks. Uh, it also lengthens this pulse a little bit. That's why we need the five ticks so that the timings between, uh, between each of these pistons firing is just long enough that, uh, that we can form uh, smooth stone in between. The net result is this runs just a little bit slower than the other one. Not much, but just a little bit. However, I'm not really convinced that it produces slower because the other one, uh, it was because it was moving so fast, there are occasions where it would misfire, where uh, a piston would fire before smooth stone had had a chance to generate underneath it. So I haven't done any of the measurements, but I would not be surprised if the production from this design might even be a little bit better than than the original design and it's certainly a lot cheaper and easier to build than than what we had before um, so anyway there you go my take on Stevens fast smooth stone generator and I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll talk to you next time